DIY motorcycle maintenance or do-it-yourself motorcycle maintenance. Yes, with today's high prices on everything, it really pays to do some of your basic maintenance yourself or learn how to do it. I mean, not only do you get the satisfaction of knowing that it was done right and you did it yourself, but you also can save quite a lot of money. Today, we're going to do an example of a front fork oil change on a big dog K9 motorcycle. A lot of this information is basic, so it can apply to almost any motorcycle with a front hydraulic fork. But keep in mind, before you do any such maintenance, you should always check your own owner's service manual, because even the same make and model may have had some changes during the year. And uh, I mean, to give you an example, uh, the original big dog motorcycles used to have an SNS 117 engine and a Baker transmission. Today's big dog uh, has an SNS 124 and the Jim's transmission. So if somebody tells you, hey, this is how I uh, did the maintenance on my big dog, uh, you need more information than that to make sure that they're talking about the same make and model that you have. So this is just general in nature, and it's how I did my own maintenance. So hopefully that can help some people out out there. This is my big dog motorcycle K9 model, and we're going to be changing the front fork oil. Now in the service manual, it says to do this every 5,000 miles or annually. But I would venture to say, from the people I've ran into, most don't do this as a regular service. So it's something you might want to think about. And it says, at least for on the uh, 2006 models, it should be done with 10 ounces of 30 weight synthetic fork oil. So let's take a look how to do this, and it's relatively simple. And here we go. First, we get the bike jacked up so the front wheel is off the ground. And here you can see, I use the hex key and get that little spike off the bottom. Now I go back to the brake side and extract the screw that goes into the axle there, but not all the way. Because I'm going to get back to it and slightly tap it with a rubber mallet to start the actual axle moving out. Okay, back on the left side, I'm going to loosen up the two Allen bolts that clamp the bottom of the front fork to the axle. Now, all this time, the tire has been resting on uh, some wood, and now I'm, go now I'm going to spray a little silicone around the axle and gently tap it out with a rubber mallet while turning it at the same time. Okay, here's the axle all the way out. Now, if you haven't yet removed that little set pin that held the spike in at the lower part of the fork, now's the time to take it out. And now what you want to do is loosen up one of the uh, thin boards under the uh, bike and just pull the wheel straight out. Toward you're good, right there, okay? We're going. Put the wood back so the tire wouldn't fall out. Except, I think the wood might be a little too high. I may have to take it down a notch. Okay. You're blocking it with your knee. walk around here film right over there point this 
Okay, now is a good time to check your front brake pads. Make sure they're in good shape. And also, now that the uh, brake rotor is out of the way, you can take, take out the set screw that holds that little spike on that side. And now you can put your key inside there and remove the bolt, the drain bolt. Uh, make sure you have your drain pan set up. A little will come out, but until you go to the top T and remove the fork cap, the oil flow will be pretty weak. While it's draining, I clean up the drain bolts and put some Teflon tape on them. And also what you want to do is make sure there's a washer on each one of the drain bolts. Make sure it doesn't say stuck up inside the lower fork tube. Uh, you might have to use a screwdriver. Make sure you get it out and put it back on the bolt or replace it with a brand new one. Now in the manual for the 06 K9, it calls for 10 ounces of 30 weight synthetic fork oil. Before putting everything back, I put a thin film of heavy duty wheel bearing grease on the axle so it goes in a lot better. And then on all the bolts, I always use Loctite and check to see if you have torque specifications. So to make sure you got them at the uh, at the right uh, tightness. Okay, once you have everything together, it's time for a little fun ride. Make sure you check for leaks, and also it's probably going to feel quite a bit different, especially if you were low on fluid or the wrong weight fluid was in there. Hey guys, this is Cassie. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Tell us in the comments below what you found to be the most interesting and why. Also, if you haven't done so yet, make sure to hit the bell notification next to the subscribe button to stay up to date with all of our latest videos. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.